Hi there. Recently I've been making this uh, classic uh, John Blanche epic guy uh, in major form, which you might have seen on, uh, on my channels. And one of the, the striking parts of the major is the, the cape, of course, which is uh, some kind of cat fur, snow leopard maybe, I don't know. Um, and I uh, wanted to remake that on the major as well. So I did. And I got a lot of questions about how I actually made that. Uh, because it's a bit more like short haired fur, more like bear or leopard instead of the, the wolf, the rough wolf fur that you see in a lot of space wolves, wolves models. And so, yeah, um, today I wanted to show you how I made this. And for that, we'll go back to Captain YouTube, of course, he has a cape. I thought it might be nice to give him some uh, some fur on his cape as well. And maybe in the process I'll give him some of these uh, these claws on top. But I don't know if I can finish that in one video. We'll see what we get. But uh, just to, to get the process. So, um, as you can see, can you see? I don't know. What I did for this one at least was I first sculpted the cape, which I'll uh, use this cape for as well, to have a service on which to sculpt the fur so it's not sculpted at once and uh, the, the paw is a separate strip of green stuff on which I sculpted more fur and um, the, the claws are separate parts as well and the, the uh, actual nails are again separate parts of green stuff so it's uh, sculpted in, in, uh, in sessions it's not one one go and uh, this is in process of, process of painting uh, it's not finished by a long shot, but you can, at least you can see the effect of what I'm going for. Right, so it's actually quite easy. Uh, what you need is a bit of green stuff, of course. Um, some kind of spatula. And the most important one is the, uh, the sharpest exacto you can find. Just uh, pick a fresh one. And um, one, also, one other thing I, I recently figured out was a... Um, because I'm always messing about water to keep the, the green stuff from sticking, is um, I want to try like a wet palette, but then for sculpting. And I'm very happy with how this works. So this is just a uh, piece of foam uh, from the old um, blister packs. And with some water in a uh, small tin. And what happens, you just push your spatula or whatever on the... Uh, foam and, and uh, the tool gets wet without because if you dunk it in a cup of water there's always a big drop of water on, on uh, uh, which if you then push it onto the green stuff the whole green stuff will be flooded with water which is not always as nice if you're trying to work with a small detail so this is a good uh, good solution I'm quite, quite happy with it so even with your uh, their exactly you can also just push it onto the uh, foam and it uh, it's wet that's it let's go i always work with fresh green stuff so i just uh, cut off a bit and i remove the center part Okay, now this cape is actually quite uh, rough. There's uh, some high ridges, and uh, so I'm not sure whether I can reach everything good enough with my blade. And I thought Captain YouTube deserved a um, panther cape too. So there we go, sharp one. All right, let's just see where we'll go. I'll pick up a, a bit of green stuff. And I can sculpt this in patches, so I don't have to do the entire cave at once. And you'll see how that goes in a minute. So I'll just uh, put a piece of green stuff on there. Don't make it too thin, because then you cannot get the uh, sculpt the hairs and do it.
And now all there is to it is just um, draw heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of little lines, which are exacto blades. And the way I did it is I worked from the outside to the inside. So I draw overlapping lines on there. Just keep going. And try to make the uh, hairs follow a natural feeling direction. Because on a, on a fur there is always like a, uh, a, a center direction and then it spreads out to... <laughs> Can I show this? What I did on this one. It's like there's a center line down. Straight down and then from there the, the hairs radiate out to the the edges as if it's going around the uh, around the animal right so i try to so that's the like a spine and then the, the hair is radiated out from the spine and then it's okay if it goes over the edge because it's quite natural for hair to do Yeah, there we go, more. This is gonna be a bit of a tough spot. And if you add an, a second patch next to the one you sculpted before, just sculpt it up to it and then with, uh, with the blade you can draw over the, the line. And then you uh, you blend them together. You can also let one patch dry. I actually made that cape uh, from the other model in separate sessions, so uh, it's perfectly fine to let a uh, a patch dry before you continue on the next patch. And I can also imagine that you can. Uh, I mean, this is a cape that goes into battle. That you can can have some bare patches in there uh, where the hair has uh, been scorched away or fallen off whatever I think there's a lot of uh, fun to be had with this it's not also uh, nice to let some of the edge show in some places and uh, to get that with paint visible just to show that it's not a uh, yeah there's actual fur right Bit too thick.
spine. Nothing here, it will be going straight down. Now there is a spot I really, really can't reach. I'll give it a shot, but I don't think it's really gonna work. Uh, what I might do is just cheat. 
and then I had a sculpt the cable or a purity seal over it. If I mess it up, that's like the easy way, right? There's already a big cable from the servo school over there, so I can just simply add some more cable running alongside it over the cable. And you'll be none the wiser. And uh, I think we're almost there already. That was kind of quick. 10 minutes of sculpting for one fur cape. I think I am happy with how this looks. This, oh sorry, no I'm not. This over here looks a bit weird. nice now as i said i might add some more over the shoulders to make it looks like uh, make make it look like he has a uh, holes but i'm not sure whether i would sculpt that in one go because uh, i think it's better to get a little bit of skin on there first before adding the fur so i might do some preparation Let's see. Give it a go. See how it works out. Being just fine and mushing up. Yeah. So um again I'm first making a center line.
Perfecto. There we are. Now we can focus. Focus on Parawan. Yes. All right. There we are. So hey, that was quite a uh, quick fur belt. A short haired fur belt over this Captain YouTube Marine. I'm uh, quite happy with how it turned out for the time it took. Going from a humble Primaris to a fur toting captain. Cool. That's it. Thank you very much. If you have any other questions or requests for tutorials, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.